What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. So today I'm going to be flexing on all of the defaults out there. I'm going to be showing you guys my entire locker which is worth around $3,500. So, uh, yeah, let's jump into it. This is probably going to be just uncut and raw. I'm going to be talking about every single skin, which one is my favorite and everything. And just giving my overall opinion on my entire locker. So, first of all, we got the Eon skin. This is probably my favorite skin in my entire locker. I use it all the time now. I actually got it for free from my boy uh, Brandon Darkflame on YouTube so shout out to him don't ask him for a free Eon obviously he just gave it to me as a gift so you know if you're watching Brandon thank you so much man uh, but yeah definitely my favorite skin at the time of this recording it's, it's just an absolute beaut I use it all the time now so um, yeah Eon around worth around $300 uh, or $200 actually um, I actually, you know, like calculated everything and I added Eon as a $200 skin. So, you know, I'm going to be showing you guys the total cost of everything combined and then, you know, the estimate and everything. So, uh, yeah, Eon, definitely my favorite skin out of all of them uh, right now. Anyway, <laughs> that was just for one skin. We got Fate, which is a very, very cool skin as well. Uh, one of my favorites as well. Uh, 20 bucks links I actually um, calculated each battle pass skin as like a you know like a legendary is worth 20 bucks and then an, an epic is 15 bucks um, yeah pretty st straightforward but anyway we got the links um, I got it to the blue one right now I'm still waiting for that black man oof that's gonna be really really cool okay we got the blitz this is this is like my favorite NFL skin out of the batch uh, absolutely amazing skin I use it time to time still uh, the obviously the galaxy skin you guys know where the galaxy skin came from the store method uh, kind of blew up as well so uh, yeah worth around $1,000 you got the mogul master which I was super super happy to see back in the shop uh, use it time to time as well sometimes you got the royal bomber which is another exclusive skin um, you can get a controller I believe for like 50 bucks so you know you can also go online and get a code for like 10 bucks you know so it's not really that rare and expensive but you know I still calculated it as a $300 uh, exclusive skin because you know obviously you know originally you had to buy a whole console to get the royal bomber then you got the skull trooper that obviously came back no I'm not an OG okay <laughs> I know some people probably would have asked that but anyway you got the bright bomber you got the dark bomber got both of them uh, maven which is one of my favorite skins as well you got the reflex skin now this is one of the rarest skins in the game at the moment because of um, because you know not I, I most most Fortnite players I think play on console so you, so you know they wouldn't have a use for a graphics card but also because you know most people already have a graphics card you know who will play on PC already have a graphics card and aren't going to buy a whole new graphics card just for another set uh, I got this for 20 bucks but I still included it as a uh, 200 or 300 dollar um, set in my calculation so you know reflex skin definitely one of the rare skins out there uh, so yeah those are all my exclusive skins you got the Eon you got the galaxy you got the royal bomber and the reflex pretty expensive stuff right here already then you got the skull ranger i just got it because i mean it's the female school trooper you never know man this the, in a year time you know if fortnite is still popular this might be rare and then i'll have a rare skin oh finally <laughs> but yeah anyway nah for real though it's a, it's a, it's a dope skin i use it time to time as well the brainiac don't use this as much but i do like it uh i just don't use it so yeah brainiac Pretty cool skin. Nogops, one of my favorite skins as well. Uh, you get the Tinsel Toes, just a dope skin overall. Uh, aim, trash, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Calamity, trash, I'm gonna be honest. Like, it's not, you know, like that bad, but you know, it's uh, it's, it's not something I would use. Uh, Carbide, it's, it's alright. Dire, it's meh. Drift, actually, at full, it's it's actually pretty cool at um, at its max outfit or whatever. So you know that's pretty cool, but still, nah. 
not something I would really use. Then you got the Enforcer skin, pretty trash in my opinion. Uh, then you got the Frozen Love Ranger, the Frozen Raven, and the Frozen Red Knights. Uh, all of them are worth 25 bucks in total, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I act This is probably like one of my rarest skins in my entire locker. I got the Havoc from the uh, first ever Twitch Prime pack. Um, it, I think it was like in March. No, not March, May. I don't remember, man. I have no idea when the first Twitch Prime pack actually came out. But, you know, have a pretty, pretty rare skin. I don't see it that often uh, at all in games. Then you got the Omega. Now, I have I have all the lights because I grinded um, to level 80 in Season 4. So, you know, this is. I think the lights are pretty rare. Uh, most people did not, you know, like grind out to get all of the lights. I think most people just got, you know, the red lights or maybe even without the lights, just straight up the mask and that was it. But uh, yeah, I do have the lights, guys. Pretty cool stuff as well. So uh, yeah, then you got Ragnarok. I Not something I would use. Again, it's way too bulky. Apparently, the shoulder piece uh, throws off your aim. Again, like very, you know... Obviously not very tactical. Uh, Red Knights, I actually got this um, when it wasn't OG, so yeah. Red Knights, pretty cool skin though, pretty cool skin. I don't use it, but the Red Knight shield, oof, big oof. Uh, the Heroes Team Leader, this came with uh, Save the World, I believe, so uh, yeah, uh, along with the War Paint. Um, yeah, man, the, these are both dope skins, like, I use her time to time. But, uh, yeah, not that much, man. I've been using Eon a lot more, man. So, yeah. Uh, the Visitor, I didn't like it when it first came out, but it kind of grew on me. I don't use it, but it's still, you know, it's a dope skin. You know, like, I really like some of these. Like, this This is so cool. You know, Aim. You got this as well. This is the dopest one, you know. A dead face. And then this, I, I just don't even know what this is anymore. But, uh, yeah, you got Valkyrie. Also pretty dope skin. Um, use it time to time as well because it fits in with all the ice things that are going around the map and stuff. So yeah, Valor, don't use her. I, I don't really like her to be honest. I call her Wonder Woman. Um, you got Zenith, don't use it at all. It's a bot skin to me, honestly. Uh, Battle Hawk, Trash, Beef Boss, it, it's cute, you know, got it for the culture, obviously. Cloaked Shadow, pretty cool skin to be honest. Don't use it, but... His wings, bro. His wings, oof, big oof. Uh, Cloak Star, pretty dope skin. Don't use it that much anymore, but it's a, it's a dope skin for sure. Crackabella, I honestly don't remember why I got it. it. It just looked like a dope skin to me. I got it, played with it a couple of games, and then just just I, I don't know, man. I have no idea. Uh, you got DJ Yonder, pretty bot skin <laughs> again. I mean, I do like the RGB, like glow stuff. You know, like I I wish they would do that with more like simple skins you know like i i really like the rgb on this it's just it just needs to be more simple there's so much going on everywhere i, I really don't like it to be honest uh dusk pretty dope skin to be honest fable it's okay uh giddy up cute i guess uh ginger gunner not og unfortunately oh no you actually you can't show yeah, rip, rip, rip my ginger gunners out there, man, and my ginger, no, not my ginger, my ginger gunners and my, what is it called again, what, mm, the male gingy is called, um, what is it called, dude, it's called, Merry Marauder, there we go, okay, rip my ginger gunners and Merry Marauders, man, my OG ginger gunners and Merry Marauders, but yeah, I don't have the OG version, alright, this is not OG, anyway, <laughs> Hollowhead, I thought, I, I honestly bought it for, I guess, the rarity. I don't know if it's going to be rare or not. I just got it because, I mean, why not? It looked like Raven to me. And also, because the thing is, when I started playing Fortnite, Raven was like the coolest skin ever, dude. Like, I was saving up um, for Raven. You know, I really wanted that skin. And then I just never got it because there was just so many cool skins in, like, Season 5, I believe. There were so many cool skins that came out in Season 5. And I was just like, eh, why should I buy Raven if there are so many cool skins? So I got Hollowhead just because it looks a little like Raven. And then, you know, it might become rare. Who knows, man? Um, Huntress, blah. Uh, Nightshade, blah. Overtaker, actually, this is one of the dope skins I really like using because it blends in with the, um, with the ice. Uh, use it time to time, but really not anymore. His katana, though, like his his bag bling is really really cool. I'll show you guys later. Uh, we got the powder. 
skin pretty dope never actually yeah i never use this skin so yeah uh red line pretty dope to be honest it's one of the better battle pass skins it's 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 simple it's black it's just it's just so nice man uh rogue agent i didn't get this when it first released i got this when um when it came back in the ios shop specifically um <clears throat> so uh yeah rogue agent starter pack i included this as a five dollar um, purchase in my calculation then you got the rook this is one of the better uh like this is one of the i don't know man like unique skins if you will you know i'm not just saying that because ghost aiden uses her it's just it's just a it's a it's a more unique skin you don't really see that face on any other skin so uh, yeah definitely a very very cool skin here you got uh, santa don't use him at all i do like this though this is really really nice but from besides that it's it's trash man i'm, I'm gonna be honest the sledgehammer trash uh slushy soldier uh, i think i got it mainly for the back bling but also because it might become rare in the future who knows i have no idea but yeah uh snowfoot i got him just for the back bling his back bling with the uh, links oh my god dude you like the blue links jesus christ dude anyway spooky team leader um i think i got it because like i didn't have any of the pandas so i was like let's just get the halloween panda uh might become rare as well who knows uh squad leader nah don't use it sub commander now this is also kind of rare uh this came with the first twitch prime pack as well uh along with havoc um pretty okay skin it's just a default with with some twitch prime things like it's not that special you know i'm not gonna say anything too crazy about it then we got the summit striker another starter pack uh sun strider uh pretty cool pretty cool you got technique also pretty cool in my opinion the ace starter pack uh trailblazer also twitch prime 2 i believe twitch prime 2 yeah uh you got the wingman which is another starter pack you got zoe probably the worst skin in the game in my opinion uh whoa okay buddy okay buddy anyway you got the prodigy skin um which came with the ps plus bundle the new one so you know that's pretty cool as well i guess uh yeah i don't own a ps4 but a friend logged on for me on his ps4 so yeah shout out to nick by the way uh bullseye very dope skin to be honest it's just like naga ops like i i i both love them and then you will tide ranger because why not i like it i don't really use it but i like him so you know whatever uh, also a huge shout out to uh Leza for giving me royal bomber so i got royal bomber from Leza for free uh, don't ask Leza for a free royal bomber just saying that he got me it for free uh and then eon obviously got from brandon so yeah thank you guys both for those skins very very awesome i use eon a lot and then royal bomber just for the ultimate flex um ultimate flex yeah this is basically the ultimate flex set anyway uh, i'm gonna put in put on blue links to show you guys the shuriken um combo so you got the backup plan actually no i'm gonna use eon i love eon way too much man anyway we got the B backup plan came with the uh, twitch prime i believe with havoc uh so yeah there we go backup plan i think this is one of the rarest bag blings i have if not the rarest so you know that's pretty cool uh ominous orb which came with fate uh wolf pack which came with dire deep fried which came with a uh, beef boss galactic disc obviously from the galaxy skin uh one of the better bag blings actually i use backup plan galaxy and the shuriken a lot um yeah those are like my most used back blings so yeah you got the ghost portal that came with the um with the skull trooper you got the giddy gunner uh pretty cool which came with ginger gunner shadow wings which came with uh sh shadow what is it what is his name again cloak shadow there we go cloak shadow uh, Snow Star, this is absolutely an insane combo with links. I'm gonna put that on real quick. 
Boom. Ah, that's such a nice combo, dude. Like, like if 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 we had like a blue female Genji in Overwatch, this is what it would look like. Absolutely insane combo. Um, yeah, just absolutely love it, man. So yeah, this is from Snowfoot. Uh, you got Elim, which is a pretty dope bagbang to be honest, uh, from AIM obviously. Frozen Iron Cage, which came with the Frozen Legends pack. Uh, this is from Raven, this is from... Uh, Love Ranger. <laughs> uh, Frozen Red Knight, I believe, or Frozen Knight, I don't, I don't remember. Then you got the Frozen Shroud, this came with Ragnarok, I believe, or... I, th I think this was Ragnarok. I'm pretty sure it was Ragnarok. Then we got the Off-World Rig, which came with um, the Visitor. There we go. We got the Pursuit, which came with the... The the, the, the Save the World guy. Warpaint. There we go. Uh, Red Shield from the Red Knight, obviously. Skirmish, which came from Save the World Girl. Uh, I think Pink Team Leader is her name. Subjugator, don't. I hate this bag bling so much. How it's like, like I, I just don't like it, man. From the uh, season five, season yeah, season season five, right? Season five or season six? Yeah, season five. Uh, uh, secret skin, whatever. Valkyrie wings, obviously from Valkyrie. Valkyrie, uh, bo bogey, bogey bag. I don't know where this is from. I think wingman. I'm not sure though. Uh, Bonesy. Battle Pass, uh, Camo, Battle Pass, Catalyst, I have no idea where this is. Oh no, I do actually, this is from the first starter pack, what is his name? Rogue Agent, there we go. Uh, Dusk Wings from the Battle Pass, obviously from Dusk. Um, Fabled Cape from Fable, from the Battle Pass again. Goody Bag from Zoe, from the Battle Pass. Uh, Goody what? Goody Gord, this is from the Halloween Panatine Leader. Spooky Panatine Leader, there we go. Hamiris from the Battle Pass, Ice Cube from the Season 7 Battle Pass, uh, I think this fits in with the um, Ski Girl, I don't know her name, uh, Lane Splitter, this is from Overtaker, so you know obviously his back wing is absolutely amazing, um, Merry Munchkin, pretty cool, uh, Mogul Ski Bag, what, Mogul Ski Bag, yeah, Mogul Ski Bag from Canada, <sighs> Moldering Cloak. Now this is from the um, from the Pumpkin Raven. What's his name again? Um, Hello, Hollowhead. There you go. Hollowhead. I I honestly have no idea, man. This is this is legit like almost the same. Does it have the same holes? It has the exact same holes, dude. It has the exact same holes. Just this is different. <laughs> Oh my god. Then we got the Night Cloak. Uh, pretty cool. I think this came with the Pumpkin Girl Nightshade. There we go. But I, I honestly think it fits more with the Cloak cloak Star. Like, there are two things, right? So, I think the ka Wolf Pack, alright, the Katana. The Wolf Pack was actually meant for Cloak Star. But then they just changed it to Dire because he didn't have a Bag Bling. And then, I think think this was also meant for the cloak star since they didn't have the katana ready for him but they just gave it to nightshade i'm not sure okay but they're just way too good of a combo i mean night cloak like really night sh like cloak shadow night cloak like that's so like uh anyway perfect present uh this was from the 14 days of fortnite i believe or no 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 from the battle pass yeah Metal Pass, pretty cool, actually. Uh, full Party, dope. Rear Guard, dope. Uh, Remus, Scales, also from the Battle Pass. Slushy Jr., this is cute, from um, Slushy Soldier, I believe. Uh, you got the Snack Shot. Snack Shot? Yeah, Snack Shot from Isab Isabella, what? No, Crackabella, right? That's her name? Yeah, Crackabella. So yeah, um, swag bag. That's from the high stakes ace ace starter pack. Uh, top notch from the summit striker. True north. Uh, I think this is from the trailblazer twitch prime two. Uh, uplink. This is from I believe the battle pass season five or six. I don't I don't remember. Uh, waveform. Battle pass season six. 
uh, from DJ Yonder. Birthday cake, this is from the uh, one year anniversary of Fortnite. Then we got the dark bag from the dark bomber. A uh, little Kev from the event, obviously. Uh, Precision, actually, this is from season three, I believe. Uh, so this might be even rarer than this. So Precision might be my uh, rarest bag bling. This is from season three in the free pass, I believe. So yeah, response unit. Uh, this is from the counter attack set from Reflex from the counter attack Nvidia bundle. Um, standard issue. Whoa, standard issue. Okay, no, this was from. This was from. This was from Twitch Prime. I think this was from Twitch Prime. Advanced forces. Okay, hold on. I want to know. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, so I was right. Trailblazer does have this true north. Oh, they're both from the advanced forces set. Okay, that's kind of weird. I think this is from Trailblazer. I don't know where this is from though. This might be from uh, Battle Pass. I have no idea though. Um, then we got the Tabulator um, from the PS Plus bundle. We got the Techie, uh, which is like a Llama Mac, I believe, from um, Maven. <clears throat> Combat Reef from the 14 Days of Fortnite. And then we got the Trail Tote, I believe it's called. Yeah, Trail Tote from the Season 7 Battle Pass in the Free Pass, I believe. So, yeah. <clears throat> Onto the pickaxes, alright, you got the oracle axe, I got this because I was using fate a lot at the time, uh, it just it just fitted the ominous orb so well, I just had to get it. Uh, resonator from the Eon bundle, we got the stellar axe from the galaxy skin, or galaxy set, uh, reaper, uh, not the OG one, unfortunately. Uh, but it's, I, it's the same thing. Um, got it when it was back in the shop along with Brainiac. We got the Angler Axe from the NVIDIA bundle. Uh, this is my favorite pickaxe in the entire game. Um, controller from the PS Plus bundle. Whoops. PS Plus bundle. There we go. You can't save like without exiting. Okay, anyway. Onslaught. Um, basically. Okay, so this is Onslaught. This is from the Battle Pass Season 4 with Omega, and then this is a reskin of that, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Permafrost, this is from Season 5, I, yeah, Season 5 uh, with uh, Ragnarok. We got Reckoning from Season 6, Season 6? This was, this is with Calamity, right? So I think Season 6, yeah. Uh, Rift Edge from Season 5, Scratch Mark from Season 7. Uh, this is like Lynx's pickaxe. Uh, skull Sickle, Skull Cycle, whatever you want to call it. Sk sickle, I think. Um, obviously, with um, came back with the Skull Trooper. There we go. Abominable Axe. This is from Season 7. Um, along with the Ice Cube Bag Bling with the Ski Girl. Uh, Balloon Axe. This is from Season 4 or 5. I don't remember. Crowbar. This was from the High Stakes event. Um, fillet axe. I bought this because I thought that the uh, Reaper wouldn't come back, and uh, it was just so cool. So yeah, don't really use it anymore. But yeah, fillet axe, pretty cool. Frozen axe, obviously with the 14 days of Fortnite. This is with the. This belongs to the uh, Frozen Red Knight or whatever uh, from the Frozen Legends pack. Uh, Gale Force. This is from season four. Uh, obviously from Valor. Guiding Glow from uh, Fable from Season 6. Uh, Instigator. This is, oh yeah, actually, I think this is my, like, rarest pickaxe. So, the Instigator is from the Twitch Prime pack again. And, yeah, yeah, it was just part of Havoc and um, the other guy. Uh, yeah, one of my, yeah, probably my rarest pickaxe, to be honest. Um, I used it, like, a lot before this one. Uh, so this was like my favorite pickaxe before, but now it is this since it, it came out. So yeah, uh, Lollipopper from Season 4, obviously from Zoe. Lug Axe. Now, I don't remember where this is from. I think this is from Season 5 uh, because it came with like the whole Pirates team with Ragnarok and uh, Viking Village. I'm not sure though, so yeah. Uh, Positron, this is from Season 4 from Carbide. 
uh, Smash Up from Season 6, this is for DJ Yonder, uh, Tenderizer, this is from Twitch Prime 2, uh, this is actually a pretty decent pickaxe, I really like it, uh, from Trailblazer. Then we got the Icicle, um, it is just such a clean pickaxe to be honest, to use it time to time still. Inverted Blade, this is just an absolutely insane combo with Lynx and the uh, and uh, blue shuriken from snowfoot absolutely insane uh you shouldn't have is from yeah it's just a you, sh it's a you shouldn't have pickaxe not really special um got it when nog ops was back so yeah not og but still pretty cool anyway the gliders most of these are well actually yeah the glider section is really small but hey Whatever. Anyway, Aurora from the Eon Bundle set, uh, Discovery from the Galaxy set, Pivot Glider from the Counter Attack set from the Nvidia Bundle, Paper Parasol from Season 3. So yes, I did get a win in Season 3, that is also when I started playing. Um, yeah, I, I, st I th the reason why I didn't buy the Season 3 Battle Pass is because I, st I think I started playing like two, two weeks before the season ended. And uh, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get it. And also, I was I was so new to Fortnite that I really didn't want to spend any money. And now I obviously regret it because I really could have just absolutely grinded for um, Elite Agent. I really want Elite Agent, man. If if man, if 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 merging comes out, I really want. There 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 are like a couple of things I want, but like there are two main things I really want. Okay, best mates and the Black Knight shield, man. I would honestly, I would honestly trade my entire galaxy set for just the Black Knight back bling, not even Black Knight, just the back bling and best mates as the emotes. Like, literally my favorite things in the game and I don't have them. God damn it, man. Should have bought the battle pass, but hey, anyway. Um... Crosswing, yeah, from Valkyrie. Um, Conquest from the Season 5 Battle Pass, I believe, with uh, Ragnarok and stuff. Uh, Dark Engine, this was from the Four Nightmares. This is the Intrepid. Intrepid, I don't know how to pronounce that, from Season 4 uh, with Carbide and stuff. Slipstream, uh, this is from the Twitch Prime Pack number 1. Um, Splashdown from Season 5. Season 5, yeah. Swarm from season six, along with um, came along with Dusk, I believe. Was it season? Yeah, it was season six. Uh, Wings of Valor season four, uh, obviously came with Valor. Um, the Battle Pass covered Crusader. Is th this was season six? Yeah, Halloween uh, Equalizer, obviously from the 14 Days of Fortnite. Flappy, uh, PS Plus, then we got the Dur Glider, okay, sorry, Glider from Season 7, I, yeah, yeah, Season 7 right now, uh, Sugar Crash, Sugar Crash, Season 4, yeah, Season 4, Zoe, uh, along with the Lollipop and stuff, Tactical Slay, Season 7, Santa, Crossfire, I have no idea where this is, I think, Season 6? With with um what's her name? With uh what's the girl? Oh, what's her name, man? I have uh, wait, wait 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 calamity. There we go. I think I I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think yeah the, with the Western Wilds team. Uh, I think this is from season six with calamity. So, yeah, cru cruiser. Uh, season. Five, yeah, season five battle pass, I believe, with uh, drift, uh, downshift. I have no idea where this is from, honestly. I think season five battle pass for the red line. I, I'm not sure though. Um, picnic season six, yeah, season six with fable, uh, royal air. This is from season seven. Uh, wait, was it? Yeah, yeah, season seven. Uh, beach umbrella from season five. Oops. From season five, Founders Glider. Um, so this is the Founders Glider. I think, I think the way you get the Founders Umbrella is by winning a game with the Founders Glider. But I'm not 100% sure. You might just have to buy Save the World and just win a game, 
or it might be with the Founders Glider in your locker. I have no idea, but uh, yeah, Founders Glider, Founders Umbrella, pretty dope to be honest. But don't use them, but you know, still dope. Glider, this is this is the OG man. I think you get yeah yeah you have this, you have this automatically. I think um, Snowfall from season seven, yeah, season seven. Uh, this is from getting a victory uh, in any season. Webrella season six, and then the wet paint from season four. Boom. Then we got the trails. You got the artifact from PS Plus, fiber optics from season seven, runic from season four or five. I have no idea. Shooting stars from season four. I remember that. I was like, come here, come here. This is from like Dragon Ball Z. So yeah, season four heroes. You know, whatever. Uh, bats season six from dusk. Cash flow. This is from the high stakes event. Exhaust. I have no idea, man. Season five, six. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I think season six. Season six battle pass. Fireflies. Uh, season six. Yeah, with Fable. Glitch in the system. It might have. I think this was season six or season seven. I have, I don't remember. Uh, glyphs. I think this was this season. Season seven. Uh, hearts. I don't remember where the hearts came from. Mm, I, it might have. I think it was season six. Yeah, I think it was season six. Pretty sure it was. Ice crystals. I have no idea, man. Ice crystals and uh, ice crystals and what is it? And snowflakes are so similar, though. But anyway, ice crystals. I think this was season. Six. Six, I want to say six or five with Ragnarok. I think it was six though. I'm not sure. It might, it might even be season seven. I, I have no idea. Jack o' Lantern. This was season six. Yeah, Halloween. Uh, Lanterns season five or six. I don't remember. Uh, Lightning season four, I believe. Uh, retro sci-fi. I think this was also season four. Uh, snowflakes this might be this season or season five or six I have no idea oops um, spectral essence I oh oh yeah this was season six with uh, calamity S yeah uh, spray paint this was from season four with technique I believe string lights this is from season seven um, battle pass TP toilet paper also from sweet I think this was season six it might be season seven though, I don't remember. And then Virulent Flames from season six again, yeah, from uh, For Nightmares. So yeah, there we go. That was my outfit locker thing. So now onto the emotes. Okay, now this is where it gets kind of interesting. All right, this is where it gets kind of interesting. So you got the hype, season four, infinite dab, uh, yeah, orange justice, season four, running man, season six. Shimmer season 7, Twist was season 5, uh, Disco Baller, uh, this is from the wall, this is the Walmart spray, yeah, I got it from someone, someone gave it to me, a subscriber gave it to me, uh, shout out to you, you know who you are, I give you a shout out on the community dab, I believe, uh, Cab Llama, I got this from Yante, a French leaker on Twitter, um, I think you could use the same code multiple times. Um, so yeah, I claimed one of his codes. So yeah, shout out to Yante. Solo Showdown. Now, this is, I think, one of the rarest sprays. Uh, because I think you had to get this if you got 20 points at least in Solo Showdown. In the very first Solo Showdown. So, uh, yeah, pretty rare spray. Proud to have it. I use it till this day. Uh, Boogie Down. No, this was two-step verification, I believe. Breakdown. Doesn't sell me anything, man. Season four, season five, I have no idea. Uh, fancy basketball. This, these, all, like, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I did. I obviously didn't um, calculate toys into my end calculation, so no worries. But yeah, this was all season five, I believe. I think fancy tomato was season six, though. So yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, flamenco. I. This was season six. Five or six. 
I think six and season six. Uh, freestyling, this was from Twitch Prime Pack, Twitch Prime Pack two with Trailblazer. Guru, oh yeah, okay. So this was Groove Jam season four. This was season five. This was season six, I believe. Rockouts, I got it back when uh, Power Court came back. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Calculated uh, season five, I believe. Uh, flipping sexy. Uh, I bought it a long time ago, man. Get funky season seven. Hot marriage it was free. Uh, with the what's the name? Racket Ralph. Uh, it's go time. I uh, season six, yeah. Yeah, I remember this being the trashiest emote in season six. Mic drop. This is season seven. Popcorn season four, I believe. Because there was something happening in Risky Reels. Oh yeah, it was the uh, blockbuster event with uh, Omega and um, and Carbide. Slytherin. Season six, yeah. Swipe it. Uh, season five, I believe. You're awesome. Season five. Yeah, season five. Okay, so you got the abstract um, spray, some emotes. I'm not gonna go over all these emotes. You got the boogie spray from season four. Um, yeah, yeah, these are all like regular emotes, man. Season four, I think this as well. Uh, I, yeah, this was the one year anniversary of Fortnite. This was from um, Four Nightmares, uh, 14 Days of Fortnite, uh, Four Nightmares, I believe. Um, season season I, 6, I think. I think. I'm not sure. I think that was season 6. Uh, Fortnite, uh, no. 14 Days of Fortnite, yeah. Um, you got the ghost. Your gunner was season seven. Golf clap is season seven, I think. Uh, jubilation. Oh, this is oh boy. I got this a long time ago, dude. I think I got this back in season three, bro. Like this is like an OG emote for me, man. I think this was the very first emote I got ever. This oh this is this brings memories, man. Oh man. Then you got Holiday Stormwing. I think 14 days of Fortnite. Uh, you got some more emotes and stuff. Mm, nothing too special to be honest. This is I think what's going to happen in season eight. Like it's all gonna be like an aqua dome thing. Uh, regal. Okay, so regal wave. I always confuse Regal Wave and uh, this. I have no idea which one is which. <laughs> um, or like from what season. Uh, respect is... I have no idea. Salute. I have no idea, man. Slow clap. Uh, I actually recently got this. My friend used this all the time back in season 3. Or se Yeah, season 3. This was this was one of the OG emotes, man. I think I, they brought it back. Uh, take the L. 14 days of Fortnite. Snowflake. 14 days of Fortnite. Um, this is from the high stakes event. Uh, this is still not fixed, really. Okay, this is from PS Plus. Uh, the pizza emote. Um, I think that's basically it. I think. I think you get this emote for winning a game. I don't remember, man. I have no idea from where this is from. I think this, this, okay. If this is not an emote that you get from winning a game, I think this is from season four. Okay. And then you got some, um, some wraps. So you got the Arctic Camo, Disco, Durburger, Festive Paper, Indigo Eyes, and Ultra Red. Still got to get that, that, uh, that uh what is it that carbon and gold man working towards it though for sure then oh yeah yeah we'll save best for last which is my banners i think um well it's not really best for last but anyway uh you got the disco you got the eerie you got the festive og squeaky 
nothing really too special then you got the wallpapers uh, the first animated wallpaper mm, we'll just go through them pretty cool stuff <sighs> Oh wow, this is... Bro, some of these wallpapers, man. Back when Dusty Depot was a thing, man. Dang, brother. Who remembers Dusty Depot, man? From my season 3 peeps out there, man. Season... Ah, oh, dang, bro. Dusty Depot was the spot. With the three, like, um, containers and a chest on top and then the factories thanks to Dusty Depot, man. Oh, those were the days. Bro, I used to camp with my friend all the time in the house next to, like, Anarchy. Or at the time, it was called Anarchy. Now it's, um, now it's, uh, what is it called again? Lazy, Lazy Links, I think. Um, so at the time, in season three, Lazy Links was actually called Anarchy Acres. It was basically the same thing as Fatal. And there were two houses. I think those two houses are actually still there, yeah. Next to Risky. We always used to land there, man. Oh my god, we used to camp there the entire game to get a win. Best, best, best things. Okay, so you got some uh, emotes here. I think the one I have on right now is from Season 4. It might be from season 3 though. I have no idea where this is from, but it's my favorite emoticon for sure. Um, you got some emotes here and there. The where is this from? I know this is from season 6, I think? Season 5 or season 6, but I don't know where, like, how I got this. Uh, yeah, so you got this, 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 this. Some more emotes, man. Um... Yeah, I think I think I got these for being a Save the World founder. I know. Yeah, because this yeah, okay, so these are like the founders ones that you get for playing Save the World. Uh, and then the, I I have no idea where I got these from. But anyway, that was my locker, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. Okay, so I have um, calculated. Uh, I did not count the contrails. I did. I did count the emotes, not the sprays, though. That would be kind of insane. Yes, I included the battle pass emotes as five. So like the blue ones are five dollars. Um, did not count the raps. Did not count the music. Did not count the wallpapers. And did not count the banners. So the grand total for everything in what how I just mentioned is uh let me check with 3209 3209 dollars in total and then i'm just gonna say that it's a total of 3500 because there are a bunch of banners um so 3209 in total and then 3500 average with all the emotes, with all the sprays, with all the banners, just everything included, I think is around 3,500. And then without these are 3,209. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. This was a pretty long video, longer than I, I, I expected, but uh, hopefully you guys still enjoyed, you know, gave my opinion on everything. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be ending it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later. Peace, everybody.